Hello everyone, this is Dan, and it's another day at the shop. For today's project, we have a hoverboard that we will be disassembling to see what's inside. Now, most of you probably ridden one of these. If not, you probably seen somebody ride one of these. Now for those who do not know what a hoverboard is, it is a self-balancing electric board that you stand on and you just hover around. It's not really a means of transportation to actually go places. It's more for younger adults and kids just to have fun. Now what we're gonna be doing really is disassembling it completely as far as we can to see what it consists of, what's it made out of, how it works. And to do that, we need to shut it off, um, get rid of the power source so I don't uh, electrocute myself. Now, we're gonna flip it over. I'm gonna move the camera so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Here we go, we're gonna start taking this puppy apart. What we're gonna do is just take the back cover for now off just so we can see exactly what we're dealing with. I wanna take off the battery or disconnect the battery at least so I don't electrocute myself. I'm just gonna pop this cover off. Here we go. First cover off. Ooh, okay, that's connected. Lights are connected. Here you go. That's just a wire for the light. Very simple. All right, second cover coming off. Okay, and I learned how to take off the light. But this one does have the button to turn on, and this is the charge port. All right, so I guess I was wrong. There's only one battery. Here we go, the light. This is a charge port, and this is the turn on button. Anyway, so I guess it only has one battery pack. Now, this board supposedly should have lasted, you know, me about, I think I said 10 miles. I don't think I ever got close to 10 miles out of it. I mean, I was just tooling around on it, but it only has one battery pack. I actually thought I was gonna have two. All right, so here it is. Here's, it looks like a speaker, but I'm not really sure if that's a speaker yet. I'm not sure. I know it has speakers somewhere. But anyway, we got the battery pack, only one. This is just where it pivots. We have a one big board, another small board, and another small circuit board. So let's just go ahead and continue unscrewing all of these bolts and just to completely take it apart. Actually, before we do that, I actually almost forgot is to unplug the power source. That's it. Let's take out the battery. Cover for the battery. Wow. Honestly, this is not heavy. Small battery. All right, next, let's take off these. Unplug this. I don't think they even pops off. There's the board right here. Plug. So let's do this. Okay, here's one electric board. All right, here's another board. These technically should pop off, but they don't. So we'll just pull these wires out for now. Okay, get this board out. I 
that's just a cover. Alrighty. Now I gotta say this is a a cheap cheap hoverboard. I think this is the cheapest one they had. I think I bought it for like two hundred dollars. Okay. Here's all this dirt. That's all. That's it. Look at this. I mean, that's that's unbelievable. But this is the tire. I'm gonna put that aside. I'm gonna put this part aside for now. Okay. All right. So I guess this is the motherboard. This is the motherboard that controls the self-balancing. Um, and whatever other functions it does. The battery plugs into here. And we have the connectors that go to each side. And I guess from each side you got three wires that go to the to the each motor, which is in the wheel. So it's just a chip. I mean it's just a big circuit board. That's it. I'm just gonna blow it out. This is just a cover with a bearing on it. So this is a bearing, that's a bearing. Right now, since it's not aligned, it's gonna be having a hard time to turn since the magnets are rubbing on one side since I took off the, it's not centered anymore. Let's see if I can pull out the motor. Okay, wow, here's the motor. Look at that, that is actually really pretty. That's really pretty. Yeah, that's the motor itself. And then this is the wheel. We did get that wheel apart. Now we're just gonna continue on this side since we'll see if there's anything else under this aluminum cover. That's the, okay, let's see what that is. So this is, this is where you put your feet. And I guess that there's two sensors here on the other side. And this one is just for the LED light. So the rest, I mean, this is aluminum. Let's take off the rest here. Might as well completely disassemble this puppy. go with the wheel again put that aside these are just a they're, they're, there's no electrical components on these all it is is just it's just the mechanical uh, you know foot pad that pushes these in you can see see that I'll do a close-up I'm pushing it on the other one side that's all it does so let's just finish taking this off Oops, wrong. Here's our other foot plate. Push those in, same thing. This is just a cover. This is just the LED light. I'm gonna put that aside. So this is the, I mean, this is the whole, I mean, I, you, I know you got the motors, you can't say this is the heart of the machine, but this is exactly what held everything together. It's just an aluminum plate. Uh, inside here, there's a steel rod probably. And you can 
can see that. So we'll take that apart. We need a pin. Okay. Here's the ring. O-ring. Okay, there we go. Now, now this is where mine broke. I guess this pin. Uh, let's see. What the heck did this pin do? It went in. Okay, so this pin would stop it from twisting a certain amount. And this is the good side. No cracks. And over here. You can see it ripped the pin out. It just broke the aluminum. Um, still worked, but it did break the aluminum. So here you have it. I mean, this is almost it. I mean, I'll take these off just in case there's nothing hidden, but I don't see anything. That's it. Yeah, it's just a rubber bushing. I'll just lay everything out so you guys can see exactly what this all consists of well guys what you see here which i'm about to show you in a second this is everything that this hoverboard consists of and i didn't take the last wheel apart just to show you one from the other but here we go this is these these are two covers and you just have like i said this is uh the power on this is the charger this is the light there's the other light okay Here's also a, a, a battery indicator. Here's the power indicator to tell you that it's on. It's just a regular cover with just a couple little wires. There's really nothing to it. These are just two covers that hold these two boards are, is, is what's responsible for knowing when you're stepping on the plate. These two would push up against, where is it? These little things. And this will go up and down and this rubber piece goes between this slot so as you can see it just slides in there okay so these are two little boards that control I guess the you stepping the sensitivity this is the main motherboard I mean it's just a nice aluminum slab for heat distribution and it's just a circuit board this runs to one of the motors. This runs to the other motor since it's really close on one side. Then you have uh, the power for the battery. And then these two, what were these for? Oh, these were for each uh, sensor on each side of the foot to the, uh, the weight sensitivity and how much you're actually pressing. This is the tire with the motor, which I was kind of, that's interesting, I mean, it's a good design obviously, but I just really thought it had a, a different motor that attached next to it. But this is the shaft, plate, motors in between. This is what's in between there. This is the internal part of the, the motor. This is the cover with the bearing. Here's another bearing which this shaft sits in. Here's the magnets, but this is the port, port pivots and holds the whole board together. So here you have it. This is all that's in here. That's it. Covers. Two boards for the feet. One motherboard. One battery, which is, it's not big. I'm surprised this was all that was in here. These are the rubber foot covers that go over these. Under those, this is one wheel with the shaft. This is the other wheel that I took apart. These are what held it together. This is just a bunch of screws. Once again, thank you for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the taking apart of the hoverboard. You can stay tuned for more videos to come. I have a list of things that I will be taking apart, but if you have something specific that you want to see taken apart, and if I have enough people that are requesting the same thing, I will pick up one of those objects and take it apart. Other than that, you can subscribe to see more videos if you like them. Thank you very much.